the next thing that we're going to do is create our logo. So we want our logo just to have the icon in it, just like Apple's or just like Google Cardboard's. Of course, you can make your logo with the icon and your name next to it, like a lot of websites, like up here, if you see the little Apple symbol and their name next to it, um, we can make something like that. Or you could just make the icon itself and I'll show you how to do both of them, but let's learn how to create a logo. All right, so we're gonna minimize this and we're gonna go back to our main website and let's create the logo first. So just open up a new tab and go to Logo Maker, L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R, there's no E in there, dot com. And this is a free logo maker. And if we click next, next, it'll show us how it works, but I'm gonna show you. And so we want something that looks like Google Glasses, so I'm gonna, just type in glasses right here. And you can look through all of them, but I've noticed that mine isn't showing up. So what do you do if you need more logos or icons than this? And of course you go to google.com and you search for free icons. And you get to a website called iconfinder.com right here. And I'm gonna search for glasses again, because I want something that looks like, you know, the Google glasses. So if we just scroll down and search for something, I will see uh, this Google glasses right here, but it's not the exact right color. I don't want it to be this dark. If we looked at, again, Google's um, icon, it's like a gray right here. All right, so we want it to be more gray than just completely black. Now, which format do you download it in? Do you download it SVG, PNG, uh, AI, or CSH? And you, you wanna download it as SVG because SVG means that it's vector format. That means that this shape is created by numbers meaning that you can blow it up as big as you want without it getting pixelated. You know how sometimes when you zoom into images and you start seeing it looks like blurry, it start you start seeing all these pixels? Well, SVG doesn't do that because it's based on math, like this, you know, corner right here that says they say it's a 90 degree curved corner, and so that never gets pixelated because you could zoom up, you know, infinitely on it. So we want to download it as SVG and just go ahead and save this to your desktop. All right, once that's saved to your desktop or dragged into your desktop, it's on my desktop right now, we're gonna wanna just go back to Logo Maker and we're gonna wanna drag it into Logo Maker. And now that we've dragged it into Logo Maker, um, again, this is based on math. This is an SVG file, so we can blow it up as big as we want, and you can see that the quality is still perfect. All right, so the reason why we wanted to put it into um, Logo Maker is because um, we want to make this a different color. So we can make it, if we go over here and we choose the paint bucket, we can just make it a different color. So we want it to be a specific color of gray. So we want it to be, and you can see the numbers that correspond with the color right here. So we want it to be 646464, because that's what is gonna look good. That's what this color is up here. All right, so once we do that, we can just click on it and go like this. All right, there's another thing that, um, we want to be aware of. If we just save this right here, it's gonna be very tall. So it's gonna be very big in here. It's gonna take up the whole thing. But if we crop it and give it some space like that, then it will have a little more padding on the top and bottom. So let's just do that and let's save it. And again, save it to your desktop. So I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'm gonna save this as logo. All right. 
now that that's saved to my desktop, I'm going to go back to um, I'm going to go back to our website. I'm going to get rid of this and uh, yes, yeah, just exit out of that. And I'm going to go to customize. And I'm going to go to header options. And I'm going to go to header logo. Then I'm going to select image and select files. And we don't want to get the SVG. We want to get the logo.png. And a PNG, that's a very interesting file type. It has a transparency color transparency not color but behind it it's all transparent so that when you put your logo in it's going to take whatever color your background is so we're going to choose this image and it's going to replace right here and we can make the logo height a little smaller like that maybe somewhere in between and again it since it's um a png it takes the color it is transparent so it will take the color of whatever this background is all right, but we're gonna change this to white anyways. But we're gonna save and publish. And just a couple of more um, things about logos and Logo Maker. If we go back to Logo Maker, and you want again just some abstract art. Whoopsie Daisy. Um, let's say this or something, and we want to put text on the side and make it bigger then we can do that and that's you know more like a regular logo that you would see in other places or maybe if you had a business card you put this here and this here and you can of course you know color it different colors there we go color it different colors all right so that is how you and then you save it and it works fine so that's how you'd make a, a regular logo all right, but we're making this logo, so that looks very good. And we can check off our progress. Let's see. So that's like that or like that. And we can check off our progress that we have created our logo. And we're done with that, and we've made some progress.